Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast Cooking. Got a really nice recipe coming from y'all tonight, Cajun Creole, Southern style. Awesome stuff, some Louisiana crawfish. Oh yeah. Man, I got so many today from Louisiana Crawfish Company. Got some fresh seafood. Let me show you what it got. First off, living in Mississippi, this is just a staple of our lifestyle here. It's Mississippi farm raised catfish, okay? Got a free three or four smaller fillets. This is the ideal size for eating. All these catfish are so tasty. Farm raised right here in Mississippi. And what I've got is a little bit of drawn butter. And we want to just put a little drawn butter on those fillets, all right? For what we're trying to do here. And this is going to make this stuff excellent. So, uh, like I said, we, oh, by the way, you want to dry the fillets off very, very well before you start doing this, okay? So, uh, you know, get that, that drawn butter on there, paste. So you can see it start kind of cracking off if you go second layer. So uh, put the drawn butter on that side. Now I've got some heavy made products blackening season. This stuff is out of this world good. Uh, you can have to special order it through this site. And oh, I'm almost out. I called them last night and said, man, I've got to get me some more, please. Uh, this blackening season is, is fantastic. Don't want to waste any, but uh, we're going to get these catfish just sprinkled down with this heavy made product black in the season right here. And then we'll flip them and we'll do the other side, okay? The prettier side, actually. But I. <clears throat> we'll put that side facing down. So we'll do this right just like that. Give them a little pat. Make sure I said I'm going to waste none of that wonderful seasoning right there friends then we'll go over just like this look at that beautiful catfish right there you know when I grew up when I was a little kid I kind of got burned out and catfish didn't like it as much she had it so much but I tell you what as I've grown older I've grown farmers of the catfish and had it more than just deep fried you know like you used to when you were a kid um, but you can get it I mean it's a real delicacy pair of different ways. Like I said this blackened catfish is really nice and we're going to serve it up with some wonderful toppings and fixings tonight. Long size Louisiana crawfish, tails, and some good pasta. So anyway, got that, that drawn butter rubbed on there like that. Remember that. And then we'll go with this uh, again with this blackening season, okay? And that's that'll do for the catfish. All right, y'all. Now I have some Gulf shrimp alongside this catfish. What I did with that is peel it, deveined it, deveined them. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of this butter on these shrimp as well. All right, this will help the uh, blackened season stick to the shrimp. Also, give them some good flavors that go on the griddle and cook in a little bit. That's this right here, just how we're gonna do this. Alright. Now we're gonna take our black in the season. Alright. And uh, just go ahead and get both sides of the shrimp. I'll flip them with the other side then. Alright, y'all, so I got the shrimp all blackened up. Uh, season, we're gonna put this in the refrigerator and let this hang out for just a few, okay? Y'all, I'm on red pot out here on the griddle because we're going to be building a sauce here for this. Uh, actually, we're going to do the catfish and black and everything with the sauce and the pasta. This is going to be awesome. So, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start the sauce first. I'm going to get the uh, some butter here. i got a stick of butter that I'm unwrapping. If you all can see that there. All right, let's let that go down. Let that stick of butter melt right there in the pan. All right, so my butter's melting there. I'm going to go ahead and add some onions to this. All right, let my onions start cooking. To the butter. In fact, you know what I may do? Nah, we'll just add the onions now. Since I cooked the onions on the grill, scoop them off over there. But, uh, I say we just do this with a little less mess. Put the onions off in there, just like that. 
then so you can come back in with the spoon over here. Stir these onions around. There's butter, don't want the butter to burn. You see it's starting to brown a little bit in one part with the, with the butter. It's okay, just let these onions just sit there and get right in the butter. I'm going to turn the griddle down just a little bit because I don't want that to burn. Right now the onions are cooked down a little bit. I'm about to add some more vegetation. Alright. Well, I think what I'm going to add actually now is that back of my little bit of garlic. Chopped garlic. Like that. Just to pick it up a notch. Alright. Then, we gotta kind of make this a roux of sorts. We have a little bit of flour, how about that, y'all? Say a little flour here. Just a little bit of time, something like that. And we'll stir that in, we're gonna brown that flour. Mm-hmm. It's nice. You just want to keep stirring. You don't want that uh, want that flour to burn. Put the money just to get caramelized, kind of everything. You can call it. You don't want it to burn either. Let's see, we have a little bit more flour. Looking good. That's nice. Got some tomatoes. Let me add some tomatoes. Tomatoes, a good part of this. Sauce. Just some petite diced tomatoes. Ooh, about a tablespoon of three. Something like that. About equal to one tomato, I would say. You know, one medium sized tomato. Add up in there, the sauce. And just keep on stirring. Now I want to add some mushrooms. Okay, put some mushrooms off in there. I'm gonna stir those around. It'll be real good. Now I'm going to kick it in with a little bit of seasoning, y'all. I got my bezels, okay? Favorite Cajun seasoning on the planet here. I'm going to go ahead with some bezels. Get that going good like that, okay? First layer of seasoning there. That's what you want. Stir that in. A little bit more maybe, all right? So that everything's looking good. What we don't want is stuff sticking to the bottom. We're about to come in with some liquid here in a second. Chicken stock. About a cup chicken stock. Right there. There we go. That's good stuff right there. I'm going to get y'all some light here. If y'all can see. There we go. You got that chicken stock seeded making a gravy. Okay. I want the chicken stock, everything reacting with the roux, everything sticking up. Right. There we go. Now, 
What's next? I'd show y'all. Let me get some heavy cream. Okay, got some heavy cream here. I'm going to enter about a cup of this heavy cream to this dish. There you go. Heavy whipping cream is what I got here. We're going to stir that around. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Color on that. I'm starting to see some goodness right now. Alright. So that's what we got. A little bit more of that heavy cream. And we're just going to let this go. So it's just going to keep stirring. Okay. Alright y'all, now I want to go in with some green onions. Chopped green onions. And a nice little flavor to everything. Right there. With the parsley. I haven't made them hit the parsley in there yet. Chopped green onions. You see that when we stir those around. And another green we to grab over here. Might be kind of surprising to you. But, uh, I don't know if y'all ever seen this or not. This is a, uh, this is like a, um, if you've been to Japanese Steakhouse, kind of like their hot sauce is gochujang or something. It's a fermented uh, pepper spread or sauce. And it just gives such a unique flavor, plus it gives some wonderful color. So, let's say give that a, a dollop of that. It's a sweet and spicy sauce. Okay. I've seen some people put ketchup in something like this. This is so much more advanced than ketchup. I just, I can't do that. Just throw ketchup in this thing. I just rather really have something like this. Um, bring some more body. More complexity, I'd say. Okay, so we got all this going here. Got that stirring in. And then we're about to go in with one bowl block of cream cheese here. Okay, just let that be. I'm actually going to move this off the heat to the other side of the grill because we're about to start doing something else. We're about to start getting with the, uh, with the uh, blacking of the catfish and everything else. Let that just pause there for a bit. Just just, uh, just melting that cream cheese in here. Okay, y'all. Now we're getting ready to black and shrimp and the catfish. Show what we do. I've got some drawn butter here. It's uh, solidified. The same drawn butter I used to spread on them earlier. So. Put a little bit of that. Just to make sure that oh yeah, that gets as hot as can be. Alright. I turned down just a little bit. That's good. That's what we're looking for. Alright, y'all, we got a smoking hot grill. That's what you want. Let's start out with some of this Mississippi catfish. Oh yeah. Mmm. That smell, I tell you what, you never forget a smell like that. That's the smell of fish blackening. Oh, yeah. That's wonderful. Let that go on that side a couple minutes. Two minutes to lift it. Much better than doing it in the house with all this smoke. All right, so we're about to see about lifting this Mississippi catfish. See it's starting to get opaque up the sides. Oh, yeah. What I'm talking about. Look at that. Beautiful color. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's finish. Just like that. Just a moment. Mm. A little bit of fresh lemon juice. Just to Get some come out this thing. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm talking about the fresh lemon juice. See on that black and catfish. The seeds right there. Well, I think it's pretty much done. It really don't take no time. Look at that. Now, ooh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. A little bit of 
uh, lemon on that side so that'll be good. All right, I'm going to take these off and set them over in the pan. Hoping that stays nice and warm and safe over here while we still blacken everything else. I need to be. Oh, yeah. All right. Get this junk. I'm going to get junk fresh out the palm right there. Get y'all good line there. All right. Get some of that good stuff out the way. And we're gonna start the next thing. Next thing we're gonna do is go shrimp, all right, y'all? So we're gonna go shrimp running right here in the same spot. Some good stuff. All right, now these gold shrimp, they don't take long. They get them rolling and wash this. Let's try to put them out that pan just like that. Boom. Yeah. Maybe not so. Just like that. Just get the idea. You should edit that it may look like I just did that. Anyway, we won't get too spooked up here. Just set. Look at that. 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 Oh my gosh. I love that. Mm -hmm. Dang. My fine fish. This is the beautiful color of the black and brown. It brings on the southern tradition right there. That's cool. You put just a minute more. Oh, these are pretty much done. What I'm going to do with these is throw them over in the sauce. Over there. Remember, we got that pot sitting over there on the side. Put this extra seeds and everything on there. And that sauce is hot, so they'll cook. They'll just, uh, they'll just right, okay? Go ahead and just get those right there. Oh, yeah. I got one more thing, y'all, that's about to go on this blackening spot here. We're going to just turn this down. We don't even to burn here, really. Blackening and burning two different things. <clears throat> okay, so let me get our last thing. Fresh crawfish tails sent. Uh, these are the ones I got in today from uh, Louisiana Crawfish Company. All right, they come from a farm here in Louisiana, De La Platte, Louisiana. All right. Oh yes, sir. Look at that. Oh come on, bust that bag. Don't have to cut all it. You don't. They, they're pretty much already cooked, but I like to just get that for a little bit extra on them. I'm gonna get some of the blackening seasoning, y'all, because I gotta be quick with these. Don't want them to overcook. Spread them out a little bit. Put some of the blackening seasoning on them. All right. Get them season two. All right, and then we're gonna go in with a little bit of this ghee, the clarified butter, whatever you want to call it. And uh, put that right there in the middle. Come on. Oh, yeah, baby. Like Emma says. <laughs> All right. Let's get these in there mixing around. Look at that. This one, like I said, just that flavor just to pop through there. And this crawfish just to pick up a little bit of that char and the griddle. And with some flavor. Yeah. There we go. I say not much to do with them. Maybe a little bit of bees won't hurt. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Okay. And then we're gonna go in the pot with them. Okay, we're gonna take with the shrimp and everything else. I'm gonna flip them over into that pot. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Season right there on the, on the crawfish. I'm gonna just get a little picture of that. Well, that's nice. 
Alright, let's flip them over to the pot. Into that sauce. It's gonna make everything wonderful tonight, okay? And I'm, we're gonna finish that sauce off here in just a minute. Oh yeah. Got some pasta in there waiting. Got some catfish fillets. Fillets. There we go. That's gonna be real good, y'all. Now let's finish this wonderful sauce. Got a little bit of parsley, a little bit of paprika there for color. Okay. Stir that in. We've we'll got another thing that I want to get. I've got some Parmesan cheese. Put some of that in here. Okay. The Parmesan. Okay. That'll be good. Just stir that into the sauce. All right, let me show you how we're going to build this dish. It's going to be fabulous. Okay. Here we go. See how beautiful that looks right there. I'll just blend it in just like it needs to be. Okay, let's pull this over to the side. And uh, we got my burner turned down there a whole lot. Okay. I'm on uh got some noodles here, okay? If y'all can see this. Got some linguini right there. Going down with some linguini. Just like that. Now from a spatula now. Let's get some when you want with it. The way to burn or anything. Let's get some sauce. Come on now. Get some sauce with some crawfish with everything else. Throw that right down there in the midst of everything with the linguini. Just like that. Okay. Uh-huh. Don't get me. What I'm doing here, you follow me? Just kind of toss that. Okay? Right there. Seafood pasta right there. With the, with the crab meat, no crab meat, with the crawfish, stir everything up. That's right there. That's just what you need. Let's move this out the way. Here's the spot. Let's plate this bad boy. Okay? Put the plating over here. Make sure y'all can see. It's hard to do when I'm choosing one person trying to film all this. With the shrimp going everywhere. Oh, oh. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's good. Right there, right there. Come on, bring it on home. That's over here, the pasta right there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Crawfish, shrimp, everything. Right there. Just soaked up any goodness that was still left on the grill. On the grill. Crawfish tails, all that good stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Right there. Let's see. Uh, let's kind of make the plate look a little bit better. It's kind of hard to do when I've been slinging stuff all over. But you know, you might say, hey, what about that catfish? So what about the catfish? Let's see about the catfish. How about this? Let's put the piece of catfish right down here on the griddle again. I'll make sure he's nice and hot, fresh piece of catfish. And what we're going to do is this. Would be the perfect topping for that pasta. All right, so let them sear just for a second on that side. Go over it on this side. I tell you what I may do. Actually, let's see. Go just like that. Nice and warm there. Oh yeah. Put a little bit of sauce on it. A little bit of that uh, the pasta sauce. Just let that sizzle. Right. Oh yeah. So everything come up to temp. So he's been sitting over there for a second. And then we'll put him right there on that pasta. That's my little clip. There we go. Right there. Put that piece of black and catfish right on top. And that is perfect. We'll garnish this up and we'll be ready to eat y'all. That's nice. That's it, y'all. Let's bring this dish on in to eat. All right, y'all. I'm so excited about taking the taste of this. Let's just see. Oh, man, that's a lot of work. But I know whenever you have those uh, Louisiana crawfish tails, 
Right there, I mean, you've got to make it worth it when you make something to use that as a <laughs> That's fantastic, y'all. That crawfish flavor is throughout there. Look at those crawfish tails right there. That is wonderful. Mm. A little lemon right there. I'm gonna try to fish. Right. Mississippi farm raised. Jump back to the okay. table. Mm. All right. Which one is flavored? That's so good. Oh, you know, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm gonna honey. finish this before it gets cold. Okay. It's such okay. a wonderful dish. Probably one of the best things, pastas I've made. Um, you know, if you would follow uh, my channel, like my videos, and. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, yeah, check out that Louisiana crawfish con. Get crawfish right around your house, you know, if you can. If you need tails like I did, check them out. Thank y'all so much. And don't forget to try heaven made products rub that, oh, man, black season's out of this world. Thank y'all so much. God bless y'all. I'm going to get back down to eating this. This is absolutely wonderful.